And welcome back. The sound you're hearing now, that is also the source of an amazing amount of lag right now, is what I estimate to be well over a hundred spiders in that room waiting for me. See, what happened was, I was sitting here waiting for a good-sized collection of spiders to gather and then go in and take care of them, as I have been doing several times, as you can see by the current level 34 that I have. And I forgot about it. I was watching a movie, and then I fell asleep and woke up with the movie that was over to discover that we have an enormous number of spiders. And now I'm going to take care of them, and this will probably cause even more lag. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see what we can get here. This will probably be the end of the diamond sword. In fact, this would be the first time I've ever worn out a diamond sword in fighting. Oh boy, the lag is terrible. I didn't really anticipate or intend to have this many spiders in here, but... It certainly is a bunch of them. And look at all those experience balls. And not to mention an ocean of string and spider eyes. Now I'm going to turn the light system on to shut down any further spiders. And then go collect those experience balls, which seem to have managed to show up all the way across the room. And now I am blinded by experience balls. And yet they still are flying in. Halfway through level 36 and climbing. Into level 37 before it finally stops. And the lag is finally over with. And I think probably the thing to do very soon before I manage to get myself killed and lose all of this experience that I've worked so hard to get is to do something about getting an enchantment table built and do something with this experience to see what we can come up with. First, however, there is a change I want to make to this thing. Uh, Hypno pointed out that the light from this lava is only needed to stop the spawner for about the first six blocks of its drop. So I'm going to arrange a uh, way a little higher up there to stop the fall of lava so that I can put some water streams in here and direct the spiders and the, their drops and the experience balls all into this corner. So let's see, I'm going to run upstairs here and get myself a stack of dirt to work with, just simply because it's easier to tear that down. Oh no, it's not there, it's over here. Not there. There we go. All right, let's get this taken care of here. Come on. I don't know why ladders have to be quite that finicky. Okay. 
start with this one. Get up top side there on some dirt. Okay, I am two blocks down, so we'll go three, four, five, six, and now even with the dirt that's there now, go ahead and build a little something here that encases the lava. Actually, I need to go ahead and extend the dirt bridge over here temporarily and get take care of this other lava column the same way. working this close to lava. Nerve-wracking is all get out. Alright, now. Get out of here. Take down the dirt. for a stopper on the lava. Good. Now we can go back over this way. And do the same thing here. Okay, now I can go ahead and fill those holes in the floor. We don't need them anymore. Okay, there is one thing there. Get rid of that just to make it even. And now I'll be able to Place water here in the corner. And actually probably what I'm going to end up doing is making the floor in here one block higher. Arrange for water streams come from that side over to here and then another water stream here to go that way and that will deliver everything towards where I'm going to be
so that it will be less uh, less necessary to actually come in here to gather up items or experience or anything like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably go get some more cobbles. Yes. Well, there's a little bit. I'm going to have to go get more water anyway. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get some more water. And a little more cobblestone. Finish that off. And then we'll go on to something that makes a whole lot of sense. Which is doing something with all of this experience. Before I manage to get myself killed and lose it all. Catch up with you in a bit. Alrighty, I have gotten a hold of the water, and I went ahead and uh, put a line of dirt along here, water along this side of it, and now I'm going to go ahead and break these dirt blocks, and the water should go right to the edge over there. carrying items and everything else along with it. And now I go down here to the end of this trench. Drop water there. Which will carry everything right here. And that will be within reach of nice, easy, painless pickup. And if I need to move it this way one, I can put a block on the other end and move the water one block this way. But I don't think I should have to. Now, let's uh, turn the lights off. And see how the system works now. Alright, we have our guest. Items are delivered and everything seems to be working just the way it needs to. Yes, I did start to go ahead and uh, raise the roofing here just a little bit. That way... Whoa, hey. Talk about rude. Yes, this water system seems to be working a whole lot better because without the water, the experience balls were ending up as far away as all the way in the other corner of the room. And that was a pain in the butt because I'd have to shut the light, you know, turn the lights on, shut down the spawning, and go in and collect. And this way they're carried here. I just have to remember to stand here where these little buggers can't reach me. Time to turn the lights on, put a stop to these guys, finish the ones that are in there. Oh, yes. Hanging out up there. There. Oh, one more. I can see that's a little bit of a problem. But not too awfully much of one. Perhaps I'll figure something out. But in the meantime, there is now 38 levels of experience here. And I think it would be a good idea to go do something with them. So,
after uh, picking up some stuff here that, well, let's drop some stuff off first. Spider eyes and string I don't need to carry with me right now. Uh, miscellaneous junk. Slime balls. And extra cobble that I don't need now. Alright, and let's pick up the iron, that coal, the extra torches, a couple of stacks of planks, this other coal as well, and the iron in here. Okay, now, let's head back up. back up to the platform. I want to check the platform's operation and see if it's got anything in the way of improvement going on. And then I think it will be time to make up a boat, head back to the Winter Castle area, and get the enchanting room built. Even if the rest of the place is not up to snuff yet, we can still go ahead and put the enchanting room together. And I figured to do it there because I've already got boatloads of books and bookcases and stuff over there. Uh, yeah, I think it's this way. A little bit of a case of being turned around here. Oops, it's not that way. Alright, I took a wrong turn. I have to go back. If I can find back. this. We go down this way. And then these dirt blocks with torches on them constitute a little bit of a guide for a long and rather convoluted path. But by following them, Get out of here. Wait a minute. Well, there must be another one down here somewhere. Oh, for crying out loud, this is a dead end, and I know it. I'm going to have to put signs up or something. Because this is plain out ridiculous. Every time I come through here, it's like, okay, where's the exit move to this time? And this... just goes back to here. Well, we started. This is hardly what I was looking for. Oh, 
Oh boy. Huh. We're right back at the trap. Alrighty. This is getting a little ridiculous. Let's just cut through here. Try this one last time because I went this way when I went to get the water. And I know it's the right way because I was up on the uh, mop platform for a while. Come this way, around here. Down here. Okay, I turned left where I should have turned right. Down here, this way, following dirt. Obsidian is a good sign. And by the way, this is a slime spawnable area around in here somewhere because the last time I came through here, the reason I had all that slime was because I ran into a lot of slimes. Alright, we're almost to the gate. The portal, or whatever you call it. And here we are. There's the portal, and here's the stairwell going back up to the platform. I am going to have to replace those dirt blocks with torches with actual signs but at least now it's possible to get here without having to swim and or dig a hole in the ceiling to get out all right doesn't appear to be much going on here but i'm not especially surprised because in spite of however much I've lit up down below there, uh, there is apparently an awful lot more that isn't lit up. And uh, yes, I have a food problem. Okay. Well, I'm going to do... Oh, yes, this bit with the repeaters over here is some of my early experiments with a automatic uh, collection thing. Uh, so far, it's more lag than anything else. Let's go ahead and put this iron away. Yes, this little project has been very productive in terms of iron and coal. Although you wouldn't tell that from how much of it that I've already used in making torches. Or ref smelting iron. Okay. Let's take a few of these diamonds. And... Some of this wood. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw together a boat and sail away towards the castle area and we'll get this uh, enchantment room put together. Alright, let's see, I'll need this. Heading out, and I believe following the compass back towards spawn is going to be pretty much the recipe for getting there. And I'll check back in you and you when I get there. All right, I do believe I'm arriving. 
If I'm not mistaken, the torches over there is where I've parked a boat before. And over that way is where I'm headed. And I will be going this way because I don't particularly care to get into a fight with an Enderman right now as much as I would like to. I don't want to risk all this experience. It took me quite a while to gather it all together, so I don't want to waste it. I sworn I saw a creeper. Oh well, I guess I'm just being paranoid. Well, this is one of those really special moments. You see, as you know, I was just approaching the area, headed into the uh, little shack that I had there, when all of a sudden Minecraft crashed. And I found myself out in the ocean, sans boat, once again making my approach. Fortunately, it didn't put me very far away, but it still... It dropped me out there with no boat. And of course, the boat that I had parked here, that's gone. Well, I suppose it could have been a lot worse. Nothing very glorious, but it serves. All right. There's the plateau where the castle was being built. About time I got back to working on that anyhow. And... Oh, plenty of iron stuff here. And there's all the books. And a bunch of wood for making bookshelves. Alright. I'm going to... get myself organized here. And... get enough work done on that plateau so that I can know where the enchantment room is going to be. And then we'll busy here. Well, let's take a look from up above. Not very enlightening, is it? Alright, let's go out there and have a look at it. Wait a minute. Let me at least put the diamonds away. Okay. As I recall, when I was last here, I was building out the plateau to create a footprint large enough to build the castle in. Not being an extremely large castle, going up for a little bit of a high view on things here. Yeah, it's going to have to come out this way. I'd say at least as far as that water there and probably halfway across that pit, which will need to be closed up, of course. And that way, definitely a little beyond that tree, but exactly how far, I'm not sure. So there's going to be... A lot of filling in ground, moving dirt and so on, and then putting together 
dirt molds and getting the ice walls built. And yes, uh, I do. while I do want the outer walls to be ice, the inner walls are going to be something like uh, snow or wool or something like that that will have the right look, but will be something you can put a torch on without melting the place. All right. So my next step here is to get busy moving a whole bunch of dirt and get the basic outline of the place in, in position. Pardon me, I'll learn to talk. Alrighty. So I'm going to go get to moving dirt. <laughs> 